welcome back to another studio vlog. It's studio vlog number four. It is Monday today and I actually have the day of work. I have a friend coming down this afternoon and we are going to go for a lovely dog walk on the beach. So I thought I'd make the most of my time off and I'm going to do some blink work this morning. So what am I doing this morning? So I've got a to-do list. I don't know if I'm going to get everything done quite honestly but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go so I've got some admin bits I need to do this morning I've got some emails that I need to write and answer and I've got a blog post that I need to write for stationary magpie which is super exciting oh and that's another thing I've got a little birthday present I need to sort out too yeah so I really need to get those bits done now just so they're out of the way and done and then I can focus on the rest of the day. I'm going to try and film a craft room tour today and hopefully that will be up on Sunday. So I think that'll be up before this studio vlog goes up. So I'm going to get cracking and start answering some emails. So I've nearly finished all of the little admin bits I need to do. I still have to finish off the blog post for Stationary Magpie, but my mouse has run out of battery. So I've just popped that on to charge. And I think what I'm gonna do now is tidy this room because I want to do a little craft room tour and it's not super messy, but it's not quite right for the craft room tour. So I just wanna tidy things up a little bit, get everything a little bit cleaner. I've got a load of products here that are for a giveaway that I'm doing really soon on my Instagram. It actually might even be up before this vlog goes live. I'm not entirely sure when this is going to go up. So yeah, I just need to sort out this room, tidy up. Oh, and I need to pop that little plant too. I need to put soil in there. So I'm just going to do that while the mouse is charging and then I can get back, finish off these little album bits and then film a craft room tour. So I've just finished tidying my room up. I do need to hoover still, but I've just had someone message me on Etsy with quite an urgent request. So I, they need them, they need some stickers for tomorrow and it's currently quarter past 11. So if I get those stickers out in the next hour and send them special delivery, they might be able to get them tomorrow. So I've just messaged them to wait and see, but I'm just gonna prepare the artwork now. And yeah, sometimes things like this pop in and it throws us off a little bit. I've just been filming my craft room tour video so I just did all the speaking bits and kind of showed everything around. I do still want to do a few close-up shots of different things in this room but I think I might do that a bit later because the time is 10 to 2 and my friend's getting to Bournemouth in like 45 minutes and I need to eat lunch still. So I haven't done as much as I wanted to do this morning just because I had this urgent order come in, but I obviously want to give my customers a good customer service and they request it quite urgently. So I did just want to get that order done and out the way. So yeah, didn't get as much done as I wanted to this morning, but I filmed the craft room tour video almost. 
So I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, I'm gonna cook some lunch now and then I will catch you guys later when I'm back from the beach. Hiya. I got back from the beach a little while ago. I think I've been home for about half an hour. I got a delivery of climbing shoes, so I have been trying those on. I think I might be a little bit sunburnt. Excellent. I put on some cream, but clearly it didn't help. It is really late now. Yeah, it's half eight now. So I was at the beach all afternoon, which was so nice. It was really lovely catching up with my friend. I do still have quite a bit of blink work that I want to get done tonight. So the bearded one is cooking us dinner right now. And then I think I'm gonna sit in front of the sofa and get a few bits done on my laptop and just watch something on Netflix. I quite like chilled evening working. I think if I work too much at my desk in the evening, then I get really into it and I find it really hard to, one, get to bed, and then when I do get to bed, my mind is just whirring a lot. Whereas if I just tip tap on my laptop in the evenings in front of the TV, I feel a little bit more relaxed and laid back. I am gonna get up quite early tomorrow though. I have an Etsy order I need to do tomorrow morning. And I also have another video I want to film. So I got myself this the other day, which is a foil coil pen. So it like heats up and then you can write over the top of foil, which sounds really cool. And I quite like to create some products with it. So I want to test it out and I'm going to do a testing video, which will be live by the time that this video is up. So be sure to check that out if you want to see what it's like. Uh, yeah. I will see you guys in the morning for the next part of this studio vlog. I'm gonna try and extend my video, 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 my studio vlog so you kind of get a little bit more idea of what I get up to throughout the week. I don't know if I'll film every day, but like if I feel like there's something to talk about, something going on, I will share with you guys. I do still have a bit of filming to do for my craft room video but I think I might edit it and then figure out what filming I want to do. So I did all the talking bits but I want to do some really nice like pretty shots of things too. So I'm really sorry my arm is really tired and I can't be bothered to hold it any longer. That's why I keep dropping the camera. So yeah I do have a few little bits there and oh yeah so let me just show you. Under here I have loads of crackers so these are christmas crackers and then i've got some small ones at the back somewhere and then i've got loads of gift bags and my idea is to do lots of personalized products for christmas and i think i pretty much got everything ready but i want to get a new backdrop so i have these two backdrops which are from photoboards.org this one actually has a little mark on it um, but they're a little bit small. I need to get the bigger ones. So these, I think, are the 40 centimeter ones, and I need to get the 60 centimeter ones. And my plan is to lay out a really nice table for the Christmas crackers. Well, like a fake table. So I'll have a plate and the crackers on top and a napkin and cutlery. But our cutlery is not very pretty, and we don't have any nice napkins. So I'm going to order a new photo board, and I'm also going to order some nice cutlery and nice napkins as well. We've got quite nice plates so those can definitely be used. And then I'm just going to make a little Christmas setup with crackers and then I need to figure out how to do the gift bags still so I'll have a think about that. I am going to get changed. I'm very sandy so I'm going to have a shower and then get comfy in my pyjamas and just sit in front of the sofa and do some work. All of those bits for the crackers, start editing my video, got an invoice I need to send as well. So yeah, oh and I need to sort some pictures out for that stationary magpie blog post. I'm really sorry I'm rubbish at holding the camera this evening. My arm is just too tired. Whoa, that's better. I'll see you guys soon. Good morning. It is Tuesday now and it is nearly eight o'clock I think. I have been a bit lazy this morning. I didn't do too much work last night either but I did paint my nails, which I really needed doing because they were not looking good. Um, I've got a video I want to film this morning. I want to film me unboxing and reviewing these. I don't think it will take too long, so I think I'm going to have enough time to do that for work. So I am going to do that now. And then 
if I have enough time, I'm gonna do my Etsy orders, but I might just do those at lunchtime, take them to a different post box today, and then that'll give me a chance to get outside at lunchtime as well, maybe go for a run. Gonna crack on with filming that YouTube video. Yeah. Hi guys, so it is now lunchtime. I did actually get changed because it was a bit chilly in that other top. I am also wearing my pyjamas still. I do normally get changed for work. I actually quite like getting changed and into people clothes, but I just was feeling being comfy today. Like I just said, it's lunchtime now. I didn't do my Etsy orders this morning just because I really wanted to get that filming done. So I'm going to do my Etsy orders now and then I think I'm going to go on a quick run to the other post box that collects a little bit later today so it will still get into the post today so they're not too delayed or anything like that. I mean they're not delayed at all. I'll be posting them within the time frame still but I just like to make sure I get them out as quick as possible so people can receive their orders as quick as possible. I also want to film some extra little clips for my craft room video but the lighting isn't that great in here anymore it's gone quite cloudy outside and overcast it doesn't look too bad right now because the light is facing me but there's just some bits like behind me i think it might be quite hard to film so i might save that until tomorrow morning because there's a bit better light in the morning or even this evening if the clouds do clear up plus our kitchen is a mess and I really need to tidy that up so I think I'm gonna tidy that up too. So Etsy orders, pop to the post box and then wash up and cook myself some yummy lunch. So I am just sorting out some Etsy orders and our building has just had a power cut which is great. The greetings cards I am foiling are currently stuck in my mink machine because the power isn't working. Which is a little bit annoying because one, means the fridge and freezer are no longer working, so I hope that gets sorted soon. I have no idea when it will get fixed, so I need to have a little Google and see what's going on. It also means I can't get my orders done on my lunch break. I don't really wanna do any other work on my computer because I need that to be charged for actual work. So I am going to wash up instead. But that is a massive pain. Oops. Realised I had no way of cooking my lunch because of the power cut. So I'm just having a bit of a random tuna salad. Good morning. It is Wednesday today. I didn't film anything last night because I didn't really have a very productive evening. Well, I did have a productive evening. I just didn't really do any blink work. The kitchen was a stay and I just wanted to kind of tidy up around the house. You know, sometimes when you're feeling a little bit stressed and I think the stress was the mess. So I just spent the evening just sorting out the flat, making it into a state that's just made my mind a little bit better but I do have some stuff I need to do before work I've had a bit of a lazy morning as well I think this week I'm just not feeling it as much admittedly it's half seven now and I've got some orders that I need to get out the door this morning so that's some orders that I tried to do yesterday but the power cut out and then I've got a couple more orders too so I am going to do those now um I need to print off some cards and do some boiling. So that's what I'm going to do now. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. up tomorrow 
yes tomorrow on my lunch break so that was my foil my foil quill pen review so I just beasted through that really not really too much to see uh, it's now the end of the day uh, I have a friend coming over tonight so I'm having a bit of a night off with Blink though I kind of had a night off yesterday too but I am going to be super productive tomorrow I've got a few little bits that I want to tie up before the weekend starts I've got um, quite a lot going on this weekend in a social aspect so I won't be doing too much business stuff that's definitely like a big struggle I have is trying to balance social with business. If you have any tips, if you're a small business owner and you also work full time, then I'd love to hear what your tips are on trying to balance everything. Sometimes I wish that I didn't have to sleep because I feel like I'd get a lot more done, but I do like sleep as well. So I just need to watch the video that I've edited at lunchtime, just make sure it's all okay. So I'm gonna do that while folding some clothes because I like to be productive and do several things at once. Anyway, my brain's feeling a bit fried today from work. I've had quite an intense day. So I'm glad that I'm having a chill one tonight. Can I go and have a swim in the sea? Yeah. Video tapes, I haven't even am writing. I do have to come sit at a weird angle just because of the light. lunch break at the moment I did a few Etsy orders this morning and I uploaded my video up to YouTube which is going live tonight I'm on my lunch break and I'm working on a really exciting product I'm actually creating this for a friend for a birthday present but I thought it'd be a really cool product to actually launch in my shop as well so I'll just show you. So my friend who I'm making this present for said that she does daily affirmations, which is basically saying these things to yourself to make you feel a bit better, to help with anxiety and depression. So it's really good for your mental health. So I'm just making these cards at the moment with lots of lovely daily affirmations. Affirmations, I think I'm saying it right. And then the plan is that they'll all be trimmed down and come in a gift box. So this one says for you, but it'll actually say the name of the person who it's going to, whether that's you buy it for yourself or as a gift. And then inside, all of the cards will be inside. And then this little ribbon just lifts up so you can get the cards out more easily. I'm planning to do it on craft card. So like so just because it's easier to recycle. So if someone decides at some point that this present isn't for them, then they can recycle it. And it's just gonna be black ink printed onto it. So they're gonna go in this box. I do have quite a few of these boxes already. I am thinking though, that I might get them at the smaller height. So these are quite thick at the moment. I might get them so they're about that height. I think I want to do about 20 to 40 cards and I think this will still be quite empty if there's 40 cards in it. So I do want to get a bit of a shallower box, although I do have quite a few of these, but I can use these for another thing, so that's fine. Uh, so yeah, that is my plan. And then the same ribbon will be tied around the whole box too. And this ribbon, this ribbon's really cool actually. So this is made from 100% recycled materials. So it's not recyclable, but it's made from recycled materials. So it's sustainable. And then it can be reused for other things, especially the one that ties around the whole box. But I just thought that would be a super cute idea. So one of the reasons I wanted to chat to you guys about it 
is one, do you think that's a good idea? Let me know in the comments below. But also, would you want it so there's just set affirmations and that's the box you buy and then the front is personalised? Or would you like to choose what the affirmations say so it's completely bespoke to you or the person you're gifting to so you can literally write anything? Let me know in the comments which you would prefer. Uh, I'm just really excited by this. I think it'd be quite a nice little present, especially for things like people's weddings that are being cancelled at the moment. It might just be a nice little pick-me-up for that. And also for the C word, Christmas. I am starting to think about Christmas. making this so this is a little present for my friend Lou it is the daily affirmations cards that I was chatting about yesterday and I've just put it all together and I'm so happy with how it looks I really love the pull out ribbon that so you can get the cards out and I've also foiled the front I did have a little hiccup with that actually so I've been testing my foil quill for a little while and the gold mink foil I have worked better than the foil that came with the pen. Uh, so I tried to do it with copper foil, but for some reason it didn't work. I don't know if you can see that. So it's done the indent, but it hasn't left the foil. So I've just done quite a few other foil tests and it seems like the only ones that really work are gold and black. Don't know why, it's a bit weird. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this looks and I need to get it in the post today because her birthday is on Monday. I've also got some Etsy orders I'm doing as well, so I need to package them up and then get them into a post box. I think that's it really. I've got an Etsy message I need to respond to and then I've got a full day of work. And actually I won't be doing any more blink for the rest of the day because I've got my best friend coming to stay with me, which I'm super excited about. I think she's coming down in the middle of the day. Then we're just gonna have a nice weekend together. So on that note, I'm gonna say bye on this vlog. I hope you enjoy this studio vlog. I don't really remember if I film much, if I've been too chatty or not chatty. I know I packed a lot of Etsy orders, so I'm sorry if that's a little bit boring, but I really just want to show you this new product idea and I think I'm going to be getting these in my shop soon. Definitely going to do smaller boxes. I think it doesn't need to be as deep as this and it'll be a bit easier for posting as well. But I'm just really excited about it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the studio vlog and I will see you next time for another one. Bye! <laughs>